Hi. Hello. It's me, Joe. Back at it again with a TBR that is way too ambitious and I have no hope of actually fulfilling. Let's go. July sucked, but I have every hope that August will be better. I think if I like change the mindset, set the mind to August will be better, I think August will be better. It's all about manifesting. It's August 1st. I'm manifesting August will be great. Okay. Today we're going to talk about the books that I'm planning on reading in August. Are some of these carryovers? Yes. And I'm not going to talk about the carryovers like a ton. Some of these I've been carrying over since June. So will I read them or should I just take them off my TBR? I don't know. So let's start with the books I'm currently reading. I'm still currently reading Beauty and the Beast. I'm still literally exactly where I was the last time I mentioned it. I'm right here. You'd think that I would have forgotten what's going on but this story is so one note that I literally can just pick it up and I know exactly what's going on. We're following Beauty. She's doing like really lame things around Beast's castle. There's monkeys, there's weird birds involved and she's got this kind of relationship with this man in her dreams who I am pretty sure is the beast but whatever. I'm also currently reading Ruin which is book three in the Faithful and the Fallen series by John Gwynn. I am 359 pages into this puppy. It is jagonormous. I think it's the biggest one in the series. I don't know. It's the chubbiest. I know that. This series is about this boy named Corbin who at the beginning of the first book Malice he is like a blacksmith's son. He wants to be a warrior when he finds himself in the middle of this prophecy. This is the chosen one type of dynamic but the difference with this one is that there are two chosen ones. There is a good guy chosen one, the avatar of Elion, and the bad guy chosen one, the avatar of Azeroth. There's war, there's death, there's giants, there are animal companions, there is death, there is betrayal, there is a lot of politics. I feel almost anxious when I pick up this book. It's just a lot. It's a lot for my senses so I'm taking it a little bit slower. The other book that I'm currently reading is Every Heart a Doorway by Sean and McGuire. This is book one in the Wayward Children series. I read the first three books in this series I think in like 2018. I'm wanting to reread those first three and continue on. It is about this home for children who have gone to other worlds. These children have kind of escaped through these doorways and found their home in these other worlds and for whatever reason they have come back to our world and of course they are not happy about that. It also reminds me a lot of obviously Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children as well as House in the Cerulean Sea. So if you like either of those maybe check this one out. I don't know why I'm giving you a recommendation. I'm just telling you what I'm reading. I'm currently reading this. Bopping back over to Faithful and the Fallen. I want to pick up book four, Wrath. This is a four book series. This is the fourth book in the series. I want to complete this series so bad because I want to know what's going to happen. It is just like an epic fantasy story and this one is another big fat chonker. But we've got Thor's hammer on the front. I'm feeling super. I'm feeling super powerful. Let's do some super reading. Okay. In terms of manga this month, I definitely want to pick up Villain Saga book two by Makoto Yukimura. This is a Viking revenge manga following our main character Thorfinn who at the beginning of this his father was murdered and now he's on the ship of the guy who murdered his father and he wants to get revenge. I loved book one. I'm wanting to get to book two. I'm also wanting to continue on with my One Piece journey. I read the first four volumes in July. I don't know how many I'm gonna read in August. I have no set TBR for One Piece. It's massive. I'm gonna read as much as I can or as much as I want to. I have no idea but I'm really enjoying my time so far. Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. The only thing I know about this is that this chick Emily Wilde is writing a Encyclopedia of Fairies. She ends up going to this small town and her academic rival shows up. He charms the pants off of the villagers and she uh, unintentionally offends them in some way because she has really bad social skills relatable. It's a cozy fantasy romance about fairies. So many people have been loving it. I am dying to read this. This is like at the top of my radar along with every other book on this list. And the other carryover is Fireborn by Rosaria Munda. This is a dragon centered YA fantasy story. I don't know 100% what this is about. All I know is that I have been jonesing for dragons ever since I read Fourth Wing and I just I need to pick it up. I need some dragons. Need some dragons. In the romance department this month, I definitely am wanting to pick up No Rest for the Wicked by Cressley Cole. This is book two in the Immortals After Dark series. I read book one for my Jen Picks My TBR vlog, which I absolutely loved that book. And I'm really eager to get into the rest of the series. And the other romance that I want to read this month is Play With Me by Becca Mack. I have been putting this off since I read Consider Me because Consider Me is so hyped up in my head because I loved it so much that I am so hesitant to get into 
this one and I believe book three just came out which is Adam's book and I'm dying for Adam's book and I need to read Garrett and fucking what's her name Jenny I need to read Garrett and Jenny's story before I get to Adam's book anyway I'm gonna read it it needs to happen it's a hockey romance this is a best friend's little sister every heart of doorway is like so slippery so these are all of the books that I want to read in August like I said, we are manifesting a good month for August. Let me know down below what book are you most looking forward to reading in August. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. I hope you have a fan-fucking-tastic day, gorgeous, and I will see you next time.